pretty decent, but uh, I want to make the frequency a little bit lower. And no negative, but uh, something like that, I would say, would be pretty cool. So assuming that's uh, actually set up and we actually like it, this is what's going to be used eventually to actually uh, mask out our effect from for the RBDs to actually make them, you know, uh, get activated eventually. So this is all animated, so you're actually just going to continue spreading out uh, like so. But for one, you want to make the ISO offset the regular. You don't, you don't want it to be the invert sign. But you have an option anyway on the other side, so we're going to go ahead and... Um, actually just go ahead and output this with our best friend the null right there <laughs> as always the null the friend, best friend so we're gonna just call it scalar field so this is what we're gonna be using in dops eventually to um, break out the text so now that we got that set up let's go ahead and um, set up the dops and see how this works out okay so now we're gonna actually go ahead and actually go into DOPS, but before that, I'm actually go ahead and put this up a little bit, uh, just a little bit about the ground, so to speak. Uh, so I would say 0 0.5 is actually a little bit about the ground. So uh, I mean, it's all a matter of preference. It doesn't matter. So you're gonna go to the object level and drop in our dynamics .NET, name it appropriately. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and dive in our DOPS. And uh, for one, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back to light. Then uh, we're gonna go ahead and drop in our RBD fractured object, which is our text that we just did. So RBD activate. So that needs to be on frame one for one. So that gets uh, brought in from, from frame one. So RBD only brings in the stuff on you know, one frame and that's it. So creation frame speci specifies simulation uh, frame. So eventually we're going to need a gravity for this. So we're going to drop in a gravity. And depending, it's all a matter of preferences. You got a whole lot of forces over here. So I'm really not even going to, I'm just going to drop whatever feels necessary then right here on the field you can actually check on what kind of input it needs and you can see it says mask field so in our case we, so we're gonna go ahead and drop that in so under the forces you got a mask field right here and the mask field actually brings in data as you can see it has a treat as SDF of which if you remember me talking about this uh, I don't know why I spoke about it but I think I did. <laughs> you got this SDF volume. I haven't tried using a fog volume, then convert it into a SDF, but uh, I might try it out, see how it work out. So I'm gonna say treat as SDF, and that's the mask. That's pretty much all the settings that you need to set up over here. You have to play with the settings because different settings give different results. So, and obviously this is gonna plug in into the wind force. So essentially what the mask field does is actually activates the gravity and the wind force but using a volume and actually this is how you know what it does so this is the mass field whatever and no 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 hold on okay that's what it does but it needs something else to actually work whatever so in that case if you actually look it actually says accepts number of scores whatever and subscalar and scalar field and sub vector and vector field so in that case we're going to be using a sub scalar field and plug that in right here and this is actually the guy we need to be looking at the help and if you look at the help it has a lot of stuff to read about but this is the boiling point the scalar field is initialized using data from a volume primitive in a sub so pretty much that's what we were setting up prior to this so and that's the killer for that that's the killer buzz that's the thing so we can actually visualize the data that we're going to be bringing in. So in our case, it's scalable field of visual visualization and plug that in right here. So pretty much you got your network flowing as so and you want to show the visualization and show geometry. So in our case, um, it's well for one is actually default into that because we don't have anything put up. So on the sub path, we actually need to go ahead and uh, bring in our scalar field. So accept. And you need actually to use sub dimensions. So that's going to actually place it correctly to where it's supposed to be. 
and we're using a 2D plane for the visualization for this but you can use more rounding box whatever feels good but yeah that kind of slow so assuming that you're getting what the, the mask so the mask hides the gravity from the RBD and when you not hides the gravity and the wind for the from the RBD the RBD is pretty much get activated and just drop so now the blue thing over here is actually what activates it and anything else doesn't actually activate the thing so now you might wanna so let's say you go back to this and you say invert the sign and then go back to dops uh, you're gonna see that it inverts the whole thing so you you know play around, play around with the settings see what happens that's how you'll get to learn some stuff so pretty much it's gonna be getting everything from the top level and it's gonna be animated as you can see the time is actually set up and it, you have to use the dollar T you won't use the dollar F because dops kind of simulates stuff kind of differently so everything else pretty much is set up uh, for the wind um, I'm uh, let me set up a uh, direction I'm gonna set up the X direction in our case so one and zero and uh, probably uh, where are you pointing at uh, I need negative one my bad I'll just do negative one in our case okay so it's pointing that way so it's gonna just blow them off from the side because one would actually have the math collide with the other ones of which that's not really the effect we're looking for and i'm gonna just drop this to like 15. honestly these are a matter of preference don't even follow my settings i'm not even gonna mess with that you go ahead and do that you have to play with the settings keyframe with them if you have to but for me everything is, should be set as it is so we're gonna go ahead and drop in our solver so in our case an rbd solver and pretty much that's gonna start you know to eventually do the whole thing so we're gonna drop a ground plane to have the you know mesh collide with something and last and not least is the merge so we can have the effect kind of you know boil down to something okay so we got that and I don't know why that put in twice but I'm going to take that out as well Houdini does it automatically <laughs> okay and i don't know why it keeps on trying to simulate this whole thing by itself so we're gonna go ahead and simulate this but instead of having to simulate then having you to watch the simulation what i'm gonna go ahead and do is go back to the um, swap level i'm gonna go ahead and drop in under uh, uh import you got a dop import so i might be drop bringing in the stuff from uh in our case this particular Stop. so accept and we're gonna be bringing in everything and we're gonna be fetching the geometry in our case so there it is so there you go nothing is simulated as, as first but what I'm gonna go ahead and do so that I can actually play the whole thing without you having to watch the thing as, as is I'm gonna go ahead and cache this to the number of frames that's actually available and there's nothing else so I'm gonna go ahead and let it cache and after the effect you know gets done if, if all the settings run correctly well tutorial is done if not well i have to play with them settings and okay let's see how it work out i'm gonna cash this out i'm gonna be back in a few so um this is what you actually actually get after the fact um houdini crashed so many times so i'm not even gonna go back to the settings but uh everything should seem out correctly I need to change out the settings a little bit we got a problem right here and a problem right here I didn't uh, extend the thing to be big enough so that's the only problem but other than that that's the effect as it should be so it gets activated and if I go to this right here you'll see that uh, over here, I don't know why it doesn't activate the thing, but it just simulates a cross, and it just you can visualize how the data is gonna be activating the uh, simulation, pretty much, so to speak. So hopefully, I don't know. I don't think I said I don't, the only thing I think I said was set always for this one, 
everything else should be the default uh, values that we had earlier to this Houdini actually crashed so many times I had to reinstall a lower version than what I had uh, running on the first part so if anything uh, hopefully you picked something up and Python Python coming up sometime soon from now so check me out holler it's your boy I'm out out